interviewed seven different people who are working in the region of life. And each one of them, including you, has a very different and unique kind of story to share with people. Astrobiology is such a beautiful subject because it, it is inclusive of essentially all of the sciences. Um, and it needs all of the sciences, um, I think, to, to be answering these big questions. And so, you know, the geologists need to communicate with the chemists, need to communicate with the astronomers and the engineers and, you know, even the psychologists, I guess, if we're going to be sending humans to space and all that kind of stuff um, in order to gain more information about the universe. Why are cells the way they are in the, in the first place? Why is life the way it is in the first place? How did life get started? Here's a place in the ocean where there's energy available for life to begin. Maybe life began at these hydrothermal vents. So that was back in you know, 1980s, one of the first papers. An article about the origin of life. The title was very engaging. I was like, God, does that even mean? But I sat there and read it and I was like, huh, you know, people get paid to do this? This is, this is interesting. The prebiotic chemistry, understanding how the first cells could have evolved and emerged, understanding how the first biomolecules and molecules could have assembled. And so this is what I believe I can contribute to um, the field. And so my work actually revolves around bridging the gap between prebiotic chemistry and modern biology by understanding this primitive cell life. Now how could you make all of this? How did, where did all of life come from? And that's where I had the thought experiment and the inspiration to work on the origin of life for my whole life. <laughs>